The Forest Carnival Bedtime Stories for Kids in English Once upon a time, in a lively forest full of colorful creatures, a cute little goat stepped out of his house, but his face was clouded with sadness. The whole forest was buzzing with excitement for the grand costume carnival that was set to happen the next day. Every creature, big and small, was preparing for the festivities, but the excitement in the air didn't cheer up the little goat. One of the goat's friends noticed his gloomy expression and asked, What happened, goat brother? What's wrong? With a sigh, the cute goat replied, I have nothing to wear for tomorrow's costume carnival. I'll never win the contest like this. The friend smiled and said, Don't worry. If you go to Mr. Owl, the best tailor in the jungle, he can sew you a great outfit. The goat's eyes lit up with hope, and with great excitement, he trotted off to Mr. Owl's tailor shop. When he arrived, he noticed that Mr. Owl was busy cutting and sewing fabrics. The tailor didn't notice the goat had arrived, so the little goat rang the bells hanging at the entrance to catch Mr. Owl's attention. Who is it? Mr. Owl called, his voice slightly agitated from being interrupted. The goat cleared his throat and said, Oh, Mr. Owl. I'm so sorry to bother you, but I need your help. Can you sew me the best outfit for tomorrow's carnival? Mr. Owl's eyes softened, but he was still busy as ever. Hmm, you have wonderful wool. We could cut and shape it a little to make something beautiful. The goat shook his head and replied, no, no. I should get the biggest round of applause at the carnival. I want to win the competition, Mr. Owl. With a thoughtful look, Mr. Owl said, winning, you say? Well then, you'll need more than just your wool. If you truly want to shine, you should bring some of the sad parrot's colorful feathers and gather magic stones guarded by the lions behind Mount Goobal. Only then can I sew you the best costume. The goat blinked in surprise. But, the sad parrot makes everyone cry. I don't want to cry. And the lions, they're terrifying. They don't like to have fun and dance. Mr. All chuckled softly, his wisdom shining through. You've never met a lion, have you? A little courage can solve everything, goat. Remember that. Determined, the goat left Mr. Owl's shop, dreaming of the applause he would receive at the carnival. With newfound courage, he set off toward Mount Goobal, where the adventure began. As the goat journeyed through the forest, he suddenly heard a soft, sorrowful voice. Who's there? He called out cautiously. The goat soon found the source of the voice, the sad parrot, perched on a branch with tears in her eyes. Gathering his courage, he asked, Can you give me some of your feathers for the costume carnival, sad parrot? The parrot sighed deeply, My feathers will only fall if you can make me laugh, but I only laugh once in a thousand years. This news made the goat's heart sink, but he didn't give up. Despite the sadness that hung in the air, the goat began telling funny jokes, pulling silly faces, and dancing around in the most awkward way he could think of. At first, the parrot seemed unmoved, but then a chuckle escaped her beak. That chuckle turned into a full belly laugh. It had been a thousand years since she had last laughed, and as she laughed, colorful feathers from her tail fluttered down onto the ground. I never thought I would see you smile, but thank you, parrot with the beautiful laugh, said the goat, gathering the bright feathers. Filled with joy, the goat continued on his journey and began climbing Mount Goobal, which loomed in the distance. After a while, he reached a wide, flat plain where a large, mysterious black stone sat glowing dimly. But the goat wasn't sure how this dark stone would help him create a colorful costume. Just then, two mighty lions leapt in front of him, causing the goat to stumble back. Who are you? growled one of the lions, their sharp eyes focused on the goat. With a nervous stammer, the goat explained, I, I wanted to get a special stone for tomorrow's carnival. One of the lions narrowed his eyes and asked, that's the carnival where everyone dresses up in colorful costumes and the best one wins applause? The goat nodded quickly. Yes, that's the one. The lions whispered to each other, then one said, we'll give you this special stone on one condition. You take us to the carnival too. The goat was confused, but you don't like to dance, right? Everyone in the forest is afraid of you. The lions laughed heartily. That's not true. They're only afraid because we're lions. Every year, no one invites us because they think we're scary. But we are soft-hearted lions who love to dance. 
To the goat's amazement, the lions started dancing right then and there, putting on flower necklaces and moving to the beat of their own rhythm. The goat couldn't help but laugh and join in. He had never had so much fun. You lions are incredible dancers. I'm sure Mr. All can sew costumes for all of us and you can walk in the carnival too. The lions beamed with happiness, thrilled to meet someone who wasn't afraid of them. At that very moment, the once black stone began to glow brightly, breaking into smaller, colorful pieces. The lions and the goat collected the shining stones and returned to Mr. Owl's shop. When they arrived, Mr. Owl was still too busy to notice them, so this time, the lions rang the bell. Mr. Owl's eyes widened in fear when he saw the lions standing before him. Owl lions, he stammered. Stop, Mr. Owl. Don't be afraid. They're not scary at all. Watch, said the goat. And right on cue, the lions began their dance again, spinning and twirling with grace. Mr. Owl's fear melted away as he watched them. These lions are amazing, he exclaimed. Without hesitation, Mr. Owl set to work and created gorgeous, vibrant costumes for all three of them. The next day, the much-anticipated carnival finally began. The animals paraded down the flowery path in their flamboyant outfits, hoping for the crowd's applause. Though the peacock, as always, stunned everyone with his feathers this year, the applause wasn't as loud as expected. Then, the goat took the stage, adorned in the colorful feathers of the parrot, the shiny stones from the lions, and his own fluffy wool. The audience was so impressed by his dazzling costume that they clapped until their hands were sore. The goat's heart filled with joy. But the real surprise came when the lions stepped onto the stage in their beautiful costumes. Just as they were about to dance, the forest animals froze in fear. What are the lions doing here? Have they come to eat us? Everyone, run, shouted a rabbit. Wait, the goat called out. Don't be afraid. The lions are fun friends who love to dance. I've conquered my fears because of them, and so can you. Though hesitant at first, the animals stayed to watch, and when the lions started dancing, everyone was mesmerized. Soon, the whole forest was dancing and laughing along with the lions. From that day onward, thanks to the goat's courage and kind heart, the forest animals no longer feared the lions, and they all lived in peace and joy just as Mr. Owl had predicted. And so, the forest carnival became the most magical event in the jungle, where a little courage, kindness, and fun united all the creatures.